Two common mistakes will be shared that people make when greasing brake pads and make sure that one of those you never do it. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys that need to replace brake pads or we have noisy brakes, you want to have quiet brakes again, stay with us, we'll explain where you should apply guys, brake grease, common mistakes people make, we're going to talk about two common mistakes, one is where they do not put grease and one is where they put grease but they, they shouldn't, all that guys will be covered in this video today, so you can uh, actually have good quiet brakes uh, that will guys uh, be uh, nice and you don't have that rattling uh, noise from the brakes that will drive you nuts, so stay with us, we'll explain about that today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. We're constantly getting new cars here at the garage, working on that BMW now. We got a Dodge Challenger that will be working. We have more than 15 vehicles waiting to be shot guys. So videos are coming all the time. If you need help with anything, leave comment below uh, our videos and we'll try to make a video for your problem that way we can help you we can help other people with that problem and we can build a community where we help each other if you need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from guys and you can save a ton of money so we'll demonstrate here on that BMW guys, but even if it's a different car it will work as well. It will not be much different, uh, but it will be about that way we'll explain about contacting points, where to apply grease and where we shouldn't, so let's start on it now. It is very important how you grease your brake pads so you don't have noisy brakes so everything functions correctly as well. Right here you can see where the caliper contacts the brake pad, let me grab the old brake pad you can see right here. We will need to clean the caliper on the inside to make sure it doesn't have dirt, dust, sand. So right here we're going to clean this area, we're going to clean the piston here as well. We'll get rubbing alcohol and we're going to go ahead and just wipe it, okay? To make sure we don't have absolutely zero contamination, dust, dirt, build up, anything like that. Now, this is the bracket. You can see where the brake pads you used to contact here as well. Here you need to wipe guys here correctly, everything if you have rust you might just get very fine sandpaper and kind of like sand it off to you a little bit. Careful because our rug here just fell apart and we don't want anything being stuck there. So let's get on the white, uh, on the clean dry side and wipe things again. Perfect, just like that. We're going to get the new brake pads. Now, this is guys the grease that we have, we're going to put where you can get really good brake grease from for a good price, quick shipping, we will recommend we use the one that's uh, uh, the ceramic silicone, okay, right here, this is amazing stuff. We're going to remove, okay, uh, we're going to remove here the guides, okay, these guides, it's recommended to replace them, even it's recommended to replace them every time you install brakes. Uh, for some cars that it's not recommended, you can reuse them if they're in good condition, but always check for that. If you want, if your kit comes, guys, with new, okay, uh, new guide seals here, you can replace them as well. You can see we're going to, okay, clean ours, but it's recommended to replace them, remember, every time. Now we're going to inspect them, make sure we don't have any grooves anywhere, anything like that. So let me look at it. Okay, drag my finger, I don't see any guys, any wear and tear on it, it's just this being discovered practically, but always, always replace them, do not quote us on that guys, always use new brake pads. Consider this entertaining video, not a how-to video guys, because, okay, some vehicles will differ, some procedures will differ as well, perfect. We're going to go ahead. Okay, we can clean those here as well. Make sure they're clean on the inside. Everything looks clean looking at it. Okay, you can wipe them. Those look good. Now we're going to get brake grease. This is guys the brake grease. And we're going to apply, you need to apply very thin amounts. Make sure your hands are clean. And I recommend to use gloves. We're going to apply very thin amount. Okay, and here you can see on the back it even explains where it needs to be on the guides on the boats, on the pads, okay, uh, where you need to apply the contacting points. 
practically we're get, getting one of the guides now so we're going to apply a thin amount okay let's see if we actually made a hole oh no okay break grease coming very thin amount don't leave big blobs because dust and dirt will start building up okay thin amount push it in okay it moves so much easier compared to what it used to be we're going to apply to the second one now maybe a little bit more on this one let's see perfect yep like that one let's go ahead install that one now too okay perfect moves like new so now you can apply on the brake pad itself or we can apply a little bit on the caliper where it's going to contact the brake pad so we're going to apply a thin amount right there on the inside very thin amount we're going to apply very thin amount on the on the uh, piston you can see where it used to contact the old brake pad right here just crazy how much how many contacting points you have that most people do not think about so let's just apply a thin amount there that will make your brakes work good they will be quiet and then you will not have noise and we're going to apply guys here we can apply either to the brakes you can see now where they will be moving this one will be in the air so the only moving points will be right here practically but you can apply a little bit okay on the sides too so let's do these four spots and we can actually do a little bit here on the side okay and kind of like you wipe your finger and almost you don't have any build up anything like that because later you will collect dust and dirt there as well perfect so every contacting point you need to apply it and now if I put the brakes okay wow that moves so much easy guys perfect that's great so let's continue now okay with the next step so you can see that's where we apply grease never guys apply grease on the brake pad surface that stops that's towards the roller side never ever apply grease here and never ever have any grease on the roller because that grease can absorb in the brake pad and it will affect it guys and you have limited stopping power so hopefully the video will be helpful to any if you need help with that thank you for watching and see you guys next time